I didn't turn the mic on. Uh, there we go. We'll do it again. I knew something was going to go wrong. We are live here at ISC 2023 from the Crestron Sound. I'm a bit rusty doing the old live streams. You still all the time, but uh, now we're doing pre-recorded. You are here. It is 5 p.m. here in Barcelona. It is 4 p.m. in the UK, and it's 11 a.m. Eastern. Please comment in the chat where you are. Shout out where you are. I've got my man behind the camera, Jason Molden. He's going to be helping me out. Put your chats in, put your questions in. He's going to relay them to me, and I'll answer them back to you on video. We're going to give you a whistle-stop whirlwind tour around this amazing booth that we have here at ISC 2023. Uh, we're going to start off with one of the coolest products of the moment. I did a video on it recently, which is our new Air Media wireless conferencing. Jason, come with me. I don't know how we're going to do this. You don't want to film the back of my head, so I'm going to try and walk sideways or not trip over here. Um, so here we are with the amazing Tori. Tori. Now, you've got a laptop here and there's no wires. This is, there's no safety net. There's nothing up your sleeves because you've got a short sleeve top on. That is correct. Excellent. Now, you've got uh, your laptop desktop and we've got sort of digital signage running here on the large display with the Panacast, beautiful Panacast there, running underneath it. Um, so this is just in sort of digital signage mode. You know, hey, everyone, welcome to the building, you know, fire precautions and things like that. You're going to make some magic happen. Yeah. So. With the Crestron Air Media app, you simply click on connect. It's going to prompt a four digit code. Okay. Let's enter it in. That changes every time. So, of course, you know, you don't want security people kind of hacking your meetings and things like that. Exactly. So, and as if by magic, live TV, there is Tori's desktop. Now, Desktop sharing, Air Media. It's been around for a while. This is this is not new and exciting. Give us, give us more. So not only can you share your desktop, but you can actually join a Zoom room, a Teams meeting, in a huddle space like this. So as companies are growing, they're not in their traditional four walls. They're in a communal space like this, comfy couch, cafeterias, 
So here you can actually join. Here we have it for Zoom. Okay, so you're joining a meeting now into Zoom, but you've got uh, the camera here on your laptop and your microphone and your speakers on your laptop. You're going to join with that, are we? It's live TV. So They're blowing the mistake. Now you can see. Now you can see Jason on the camera. <laughs> it's all good. So the Panicast 50, unfortunately for Jason, has 180 degrees field of view. It's an amazing camera. So that means if you're in a small room or a medium-sized room, the lucky person sitting next to the TV is going to be seen a lot. Now again, just just to clarify this, we're not using the the camera and the microphone and speakers no. on your laptop. We're using the Panicast at the front of the room. Now, oh, there we go. It's gone wide angle now. There we go. And there's no wires. Like normally you'd have to have like HDMI, USB and a power cable and run them under the floor to your computer. This gets all of the uh, microphone in, camera in, speaker out, display out, all wirelessly. So no need to run cables, no need to run the HDMI and the USB device. Now, this, you can you just, you're just, there you go. <laughs> you're good. You're good. It's an amazing 180 degree field of view. We've now you'll notice that these these panicasts are a little bit special. These are co-branded now. Uh, Crestron Jabra, my uh, glamorous assistant, is going to help us out there, and you'll get to see see it there. There we are. So we've now got co-branded uh, panicasts, uh, Jabra Panicast 50s now um, with the Crestron logos that are available. Uh, I believe on their own BYOD, uh, Jason's going to nod and say yes, uh, and also in the Flex bundles as well. So do check those out. We do have a new Air Media bundle with the Jabber Panicast to yes. make it easy. So don't forget about the new bundle. Very cool. And there's a great video on YouTube. You should check it out. It's on Crestron.com. Subscribe, hit the bell, ring the link, and all that good stuff. Right, where are we going now? With the other great assistant, we're going to now. This is going to be interesting. Okay, so. Um, we're going to go behind the scenes, okay? The natural environment of the executives here on the Crestron booth. I'm going to whisper slightly because they're in their main environment. Here you can see a real live meeting going on with real people sitting around the room. Now, what's amazing about this, I, sh I shouldn't whisper, I can talk now. I saw them, they're having their meeting. What we've got in this room, this is called Sightline, a unique and amazing product, an amazing equitable hybrid experience unique to us here at Crestron. Now, well, the idea of this is everybody sitting around the table is having their meeting, which I'm massively interrupting and disrupting, but you can see their, their sight lines, their eye lines. They can all see Colin. Colin, give us a wave. Colin, give us a wave. Prove it's live. He's not, he's not playing. He's not listening to me. So Colin is there live at the other end. And as, as they're looking across the table, they can see Colin. Now, you also see seven cameras around the room. So again, as they're looking across the table, as Sam's looking at Lauren and uh, and Kenneth, they're looking at a camera as well. So uh, you're getting amazing far end view, but an amazing in room view as well. Seven cameras, seven screens brings the sight line experience. Also amazing uh, microphones for my microphone partners in the room as well, great lighting. And this whole experience is really to provide an equitable hybrid meeting experience for your meeting rooms. Not that bowling alley view that you just have a camera at the front of the room that kind of gets me right down here and looks terrible. The idea is this, is that everybody gets the same experience whether they're in the room or whether they're working from home. Now, I think we've disturbed them in their natural environment enough. Let's get back to their meeting. Um, here we go, right, let's go out. Uh, right, where are we going now? We wanted to highlight these amazing uh, pods that we've got here on the booth. Uh, these have been provided by our partner, Holt Media. Um, these are the kind of video pods, uh, you know, video phone booths. There's lots of kind of names from kind of hoteling. You can see our amazing Crestron Teams display in this one. And the idea with this is, is that you can put these pods, these acoustically treated rooms in your environment, in your, your uh, office space, and people can go and drop down uh, into these rooms and have their, their kind of focus of their meeting. So they can sit there, focus on their work without the distractions and noise around it. Now, as I say, in this one, we've got our Teams display. You'll also see uh, the uh, uh, occupancy uh, light outside shows you if it's open. If I go in, let's see if, Again, we are live. Let's see if this works. As I go in, uh, there is an occupancy sensor in here. My audio has probably got a lot better now because I'm in an acoustically treated room and not in a trade show. 
This is the power of Crestron. The fact that when I walked into the room, the occupancy sensor in the ceiling detects me, the lights turned on, the outside indicator then also displays that this room is not available um, to people to be able to use. And that is the experience. I can then join a Teams meeting from my Teams display. Or again, if this was a, a large meeting room, again, the screen would turn on if it was the Crestron connected display. Uh, and we could also then start our Teams meeting. We have awareness outside of just the, the camera and the camera bar. I'm trying not to trip over as I come out of here. Um, we have awareness outside of, of that. So again, you have that full meeting experience. So that is uh, the Holtz Media Pods. I'll shut the door. Um, there you go. Trying not to break it. And again, in a time, the uh, occupancy light will go out. So we are moving on down. I think we're going to go. Yeah, we're getting them. <laughs> the amazing Lauren's helping us out now. We have here uh, a wellness area. So we've got uh, an exercise bike here. Uh, I could get on. I could do a lap. Um, let's see if we can do this. So here I am live on an exercise bike. These are the kind of environments that people are putting into their organizations. This audio is probably, the pedaling is probably uh, messing up with the audio. But a lot of companies are putting these environments in uh, to bring people back into the office, to give them that better experience when they're back into the office. And with this environment, we've got all of the amazing Crestron lighting, uh, the Crestron uh, digital signage playing up on the displays, uh, and also the acoustics and audio in here. We turn them down because of the microphones. But this is really... Uh, and I may, I'll try not to kill myself getting on this bike. I'm not going to get on the rowing machine. Um, because I can't do that. And again, we've got a juice bar over here, again, giving you that experience, showing off some of the Crestron technology. Again, Crestron has some amazing technology, amazing boxes uh, and amazing devices. But what we're trying to show here is actually the solutions that those boxes deliver, the problems that these boxes are providing to the customers, what problems they solve, how they make, how they make customers' uh, environments better, uh, and easier to use. Again, bringing people back into the office and giving them a better experience in the office. Jason, who have we got online? We should shout out to some people while we're walking around. He's, um, um, he's got now two phones. I'm gonna, he's going to trip over in a minute as well. Um, Jason, give me some names. Who have we got on the live? Edio Sincrista. Aston Martinez. Hello. Melvin. Hey, Melvin. William. Hey, how are you doing? Where are you, William? Tell us where you are. <laughs> cool. Uh, are, we going, are we going there? Okay. This display... An amazing display. I ignore this guy in the car over here, um, about to have a crash. This is the Jupiter 21 by 9 display. Now, I'm going to move the mic a second. It's a big display. Uh, this is an 85, is it, Jace? 81. 81 inch, 21 by 9 display. And the reason for this is the Microsoft Teams front row experience. And again, we talked about an equitable experience and trying to provide better experience to the far end participants. With Microsoft Front Row, the idea is to get more, into, more uh, information, more stuff onto the interface. You can see here the uh, the content up here. You know, what goes best with fries or chips? For me, it's mayonnaise, uh, and that's the wrong kind of mustard. It must be uh, Coleman's mustard, English mustard is the best mustard. Uh, but you can see that there's the content. We've got raised hands here. So again, if anyone in the meeting wants to raise a hand, obviously not me here because I need to keep my hands on the wheel. Uh, and then you've got the chat going on at the right hand side you can see then all of the participants down the bottom a really really amazing experience that you can see here um, from microsoft front row and again spoiler alert we had the exclusive of this on monday when microsoft dropped the new ui to the mtr system so all of the flex uh, room systems now have the new teams ui microsoft dropped this on monday we had the exclusive on press tv you can go and watch that video uh, we put it out. We also chat with Tom R. Buffnot um, around this as well. So again, go and check that video out, talking about the new Teams UI uh, on the Flex MTR. Looks really, really nice, really um, uh, modern and up-to-date uh, UI. And again, let me just show you one other thing. What makes our MTRs different uh, from everyone else, the fact that I can go in here and actually control the room. Again, everyone uses the same operating system. They all use an x86 Intel PC. But the fact that with the Crestron device, we can ex extend that room. We get lights, we get shades, blinds, and the ability to control the room and then go back to that Teams interface and uh, experience there. That's Microsoft Front Row running on the amazing Jupiter screen. Go check out Jupiter for more details on that 21 by 9 screen. Let's move on up. Jonathan, where are you going? No, we need you. Don't go. Don't go. I'm good. You've got a mic. I've got a mic. Got a mic. We're going to have dueling mics. Dueling mics. Dueling mics. 
<laughs> so what are we showing here in this space? So this is our multi-use uh, space, uh, Neil. And so what we're showing here is the ability to have flexible spaces that have lots of functionality using things like Air Media, using things like, actually, we're also showing here our NVX software. So this is one of the first places that we're showing NVX. <laughs> well, no, no, no. We're actually showing a different demo. We're showing that the thing that's coming out here in the next uh, couple of months, this is going to be NVX uh, as a software, CPU-based. So streaming the desktop, encoder, decoder, very, very flexible, extending the tool set of the NDX system. We're also showing here uh, One Beyond, so camera systems, uh, automated switching, using intelligent video and intelligent microphones on the table. So that's kind of flexible, you know, opportunity in a, in a room, in a space. So this could be like a classroom, it could be, uh, you know, kind of multi-use space. Uh, classroom, a mixed-use space, uh, all of those kinds of things, for sure. Very cool. We were playing with the cameras uh, earlier, and again, when you unmute the, the microphone, the camera will track you and frame you, no matter where you're sitting, whether you're on the front table, the back camera table. Amazing Shaw microphones from our friends at Shaw. Uh, check out Shaw.com uh, for their great microphones. Shaw, sure, yeah. The best microphones well, SM58 and uh, hey, you got the you got the fancy wireless ones. I have a I have a cable. Um, also behind you again that amazing Holtz Media furniture. So we've got this lectern here provided by our partners at Holtz Media, and then this lovely media station uh, behind the media column, uh, it is called, uh, behind, where you can then add your screens, hide your codec inside it, um, and use that as your uh, meeting room. They look really smart, really fresh and up to date. I love the styling of this. Um, I think they're, they're German, I think, aren't they? German, German design, German engineering um, at its best. Another, again, show of the rack with all the gear uh, and what's powering this, this, this experience, this multi-mixed-use space. And again, the idea is all of the Crestron kit is used to provide this experience. This is the whole theme of the show uh, this year is the fact that Crestron makes some amazing technology, but it's the actual applications that that technology enables, and in this case, a mixed-use space. Um, I think, thank you, Jonathan. I think we are off to see Jasmine for her second appearance on uh, on video this week. Jasmine, how are you doing? Good. Thanks for making me famous. <laughs> you said we make all these videos and I never know where they go. Well, now you're live on YouTube and it's going to be on the Crestron channel. So you can tell all your friends. Now, this is pretty cool. I love this. But for everybody out there watching uh, in YouTube land on the internet, tell us what's going on here. All right. So welcome. So okay. <laughs> Welcome to the DMMEX software station. So what you're seeing here is the software implementation of our market-leading MVX technology. So what we did here is we took the codec of the existing DMMEX and made a software implementation so that instead of a dedicated black box, you can use the processing power of the PC. We actually have two offerings. The first one, the single stream encoder or decode, which it was shared in the classroom mixed room use case. And also we have a command control use case. And your spoiler, it's a spoiler that command and control is coming. Sorry. Yes, it's coming. <laughs> and for this video wall, we are showing the multi-stream version, which means out of the single PC, we are putting four streams. And people don't believe that I'm actually doing four streams because it's it's perfectly synchronized across the screen. Yeah. Yep. And they're really nice, uh, sort of great thin bezel display, so they look really nice as well. Yep, yep. So all this is synced up um, using, again, super low latency on, the, you're interviewing me now, uh, super low latency on the NVX and a pixel perfect uh, 4K resolution per device. And this works over a one gig switch network, yeah? Correct. And plus, we have enterprise grade security, so you can expect the same results of a physical NVX. Um, and they are fully compatible with, with each other. Um, so you can use, say, 30 series, 35X, 36X, manually the same way, just as another endpoint, and you're set to go. Cool. Thank Jasmine, you. thank you. You're super famous now. Uh, put in the chat what your favorite product is, by the way, so far, uh, and who's the best presenter. Uh, Jasmine for the win, um, I think. Uh, but let us know again, where are you? Who are you? Uh, don't be shy in the chat. If you've got questions as well that you want me to ask, the people that we're harassing here, then ask those questions in the chat and Jason will help out. He's, he's double-handed here with a phone in one hand and a gimbal in another. Right, we are going over here next. Uh, <laughs> this is great, I love it. So here we're showing our XIO uh, management. Have I got, uh, no, we're not. We're going to construct, are we? Okay. Hello. It's me. Are, you ready, for your, are you ready for your close-up? Absolutely. Now, construct, this is, this is new. 
tell tell the viewers out there on the internet on the, that camera there uh, what is Crestron Construct? Okay, so this is actually very exciting. So I'm a senior product manager here for software tools at Crestron. I've been here a very long time. So Construct, <laughs> yes, yes. So um, Construct is a brand new user interface editor based on HTML5. So for those of our Crestron family who have been here long enough, know that we have an application called BT Pro um, that has been around for about 25 years. So this is like 25 years in the making. So it's a brand new application built from the ground up for creating user interfaces, but HTML5. So, so much more simpler. You don't have to be a, a propeller head and a super nerd to be able to, to do that. Exactly. So we, we took all the goodness of HTML5, right? And we created an application that so that you don't have to know anything about HTML5, right? So um, it's a, a WYSIWYG, right? What you see is what you get. It drag and drop controls on the, on the page, um, you know, layout controls. And one of the best things um, that this application does is allow you to support multiple panels and resolutions in a single file. Um, previously, right, in BT Pro, um, when you needed to support something like a, one of the Crush on Touch panels or an iPad, you had to create two separate projects, right? So with the magic of HTML and the way that HTML works, we can now do that through a single interface. Love it. You know, you can change the layout, the look. Um, you can make purple buttons on, you know, one uh, interface and have gray buttons on another interface. It's it's very very powerful, but very easy to use, very intuitive. And available now. And it will be available. It's available. So this is another exciting news. Um, so we, spoiler alert. Yeah, spoiler alert. We decided to uh, open an early access program for all of our dealers here at the show. Okay. Um, and then this application will actually ship in May. Okay. Coming soon in May, but go and get your early access, your early bird download, and then just go to crestron.com. Actually, we have a QR code. Yeah, but they can't see that on the so internet. I can't hold it up for them. So for those of you who aren't at the show, shame yeah. on you. <laughs> uh, you can contact your regional sales manager. Okay. Uh, yeah, just get a hold of your regional sales manager. Contact your regional sales manager and go and have a look at Crestron Construct. Amazing, simplified. Thank you so much. Uh, we're going this way now. So, <laughs> Bill, Bill, we're going to talk XIO. XIO Cloud, yes. Uh, we're showing a few new things at the show uh, uh, this week. and uh, But the thing we really want to focus on are the uh, new uh, third-party features uh, the XIO Cloud Gateway brings to the table. So, um, show me. Show them. Show them. We're trying to uh, increase the coverage of the room, right, beyond just restaurant devices. And uh, you know, include your displays, and uh, we have native display on the wall here is directly connected to XIO Cloud. But if it doesn't directly connect, we can use the XIO Cloud gateway to bring in other things like the uh, the Shure IntelliMix, uh, which is our new support for audio mixers. And uh, you know, along with the IntelliMix, we get all the peripherals that that Shure has as well. Uh, so microphones, speakers, uh, all these things could be monitored and. Uh, and restarted, and if they go offline, we get a, a, an alert message as well to, uh, to let us know there's a problem. Very cool, very cool. Uh, and so the, the fact that the, the great thing about this is, again, we talked earlier about the fact of awareness. We have the ability to control these Sony displays and all the other Crestron connected displays. So we know, is the screen on? Is the screen off? Is it on the right HDMI input? Has someone been messing around with the remote control? We have awareness outside of our, uh, our, our, our video devices and our devices to be able to switch the screen on and set the right input. Right, where are we going now? We're going there. <laughs> right, uh, are we, Tuan, are, we, are, you, are you famous? Superstar on YouTube. Yeah, super on YouTube. Uh, Tuan, Tuan, what are we showing here? What we're sh oh, gosh. <laughs> what, we're sh what are we showing? <laughs> what we're showing here is our combination of flex rooms with, of course, the room controls and how to deploy them in a scalable way. Okay. Right? Because it's great to do one room, but what, we, what if you have hundreds of rooms? And that's the power of VC4. You upload all your customization, your code once, and then you can start hundreds of rooms and running on a single server with redundancy, fault tolerance, so that your organization is running all the time. And BC4, shipping now, available now. I ordered mine on Monday, and it, it's, it's apparently there. It's in Weybridge waiting for me. So it is shipping and available uh, X stop on BC4. Very exciting. Uh, Jason, get your other phone out. Is there any, any chat? Come on, people. Chat, chat, chat. Tell us what you think. Give us your like and subscribe and do all that good stuff while we work out where we're going next. Uh, good. Hopefully no one's going, the audio doesn't work. Can't hear you anymore. The stream stopped 10 minutes ago. And you're, you're talking to me. We're over here. 
Black, black boxes are uh, our favourite thing on the wall. Uh, Jonathan again. Me again. <laughs> here we are. I saw you over there, Renee. I know, just a few minutes ago. So here we are at the DM Light Wall. And DM Light, of course, is a product that we love to talk about because DM Light gives us the opportunity to do some really simple, um, really meaningful, uh, you know, point-to-point -point extensions. So we've got things like simple to, you know, HDMI extension with control so we can control the display. Um, all of these are interchangeable. And that's one of the other great benefits of DM Light is that we can take these, you know, single input, we can put it through a switched input uh, device. We've got a local input uh, as well as the extended uh, input that we have, you know, from a wall plate. We've got wall plate transmitters. We have some new form factors coming, including USB-C. USB-C, of course, right? So we know that that's the standard here in Europe now coming up. <clears throat> So we've got USB-C inputs, wall plates, and again, some that even are going to include now power delivery. Uh, of course, for USB, we also know that cabling is important. We did the video in Orangeburg with the robots. If you haven't checked that out, go to the Crestron site and do our, look at our tour of Orangeburg, where they've got the robots that are pulling the connectors in, out, in, out, shaking it all about. These things are built like... Um, like a tank. Like a, like a tank, right? And so we saw that over there. And so we have some new USB cables. Um, active cables, extended cables, long length. Because this is the problem. USB is like three meters, I think, normally on a cable. That's but if you correct. if you want to run it under the floor from the screen to the table, you're screwed with USB. That's so again, right. you could use a DM light uh, with a again over a cat cable, or we've got these extended cables if you want to run it over them. That's correct. Absolutely. I know stuff. This is great. It's fantastic. <laughs> And DM DM light available again. I ordered I ordered a bunch a bunch of stuff on Monday, and it's already arrived. It's sitting in Weybridge waiting for. It. I'm in Barcelona. The kit's in Weybridge. Uh, where are we go, Sam? Where are we? Over here. Go, Sam Kennedy. By the way, <laughs> uh, right. We have we have lighting. We have, oh, hang on. Whoa, wait. Hey, Bill. Hey, uh, Frank. Frank. Hey, hey Bill. Frank. Bill's over there. It's Frank. Hey, Frank. Well, Bill was over there. Now, it, now it, uh, it's Frank over here. Hey, everyone. How are you? Sorry you couldn't be here, but I want to give you a little tour of what we're we're demoing. Uh, what we're showing is the Zoom lighting control products. Uh, right here are the products that are available in Latin America, the U.S., Israel, and the Middle East. This is the wireless. This is the wired. We are releasing in December of this year all of the new DIN product line in the Zoom family. All of these products are compatible. What we do with the wired and the DIN product is utilize what we call Zoom Link. And Zoom Link is nothing more than CrestNet over UTP. So that makes an easy connection. If you can just swing around over here, I'll show you. There's some orange RJ45s that are right here. This is what Zoom Link is. They interconnect to either modules like this that are DIN-based or keypads. The keypads have the Bluetooth integration built into them. So this can be completely configured with an application on your phone or an Android device. We also have that we're going to release a new for firmware version for keypads that we currently have in our library. These are the C2NI series. We can also add the uh, Horizon as well as the Black Nova keypads. And all of this can be done and configured with the app that's free from the iPhone or the Play Store. And then we also have sensors. We make six different styles of sensor in this product line, which are also under a CrestNet base. But each one of those sensors has two versions. The secondary version also has an additional relay built into it, so you can use it for VAV control. And then, of course, we have our wireless product and keypads available. So thank you. And again, sorry you guys couldn't be here. We would have loved to have you. Frank, thank you so much. I just want to point out this. I, can I, I want one of these at home, okay? This, this will look lovely in my house. Can I have one of these? This is this is pretty, pretty amazing. Uh, how much? 27,000 years. This is not a Crestron product, by the way, uh, but it is a thing of beauty. Um, so, yes, I can I can think of people hanging on to those and being pulled up. Amazing device. Uh, so we got Jonathan again. <laughs> you get about a bit, don't you? I get around a little bit. And, and so, you know, here we are at the Zoom station because we've done Zoom lighting. Now we're doing Zoom. Not to be good. Z-U-M. Our friends at Zoom. Zoom Good. conferencing, right? So Zoom conferencing, what we're showing here is our Zoom room scheduling. Yep. Uh, of course, you know, we've got uh, the entire suite of uh, solutions for scheduling. Zoom is one of our partners. Uh, so if you've got a Zoom room, Zoom scheduling is a great add-on, a great companion product. Um, here at our Zoom station, what we're showing is our uh, Mercury Mini, our MM30Z. Uh, we're very excited because this is a certified uh, Zoom uh, product. Uh, we actually just certified the Zoom uh, the MM30 for Zoom 
just a couple of weeks ago, and so that's very exciting to be able to This is running the, the Zoom controller. This is where I join my see my calendar uh, and everything on there. But it's also my microphone and speaker as well. Correct. Microphone and speakers, native Zoom integration, so we can do the Zoom room controls, again, for those customers that have extended Crestron systems in those spaces. Um, but this is a great, you know, small room solution, sharing all of the full feature set as a Zoom room. I see there's, uh, again, USB and HDMI there as well. Fantastic. Share content. Share content, uh, absolutely. And there's also the, the wireless uh, Zoom app. You can share content wirelessly. Or why, why not just plug in an Air Media and uh, use that? We've just seen that back there. Plug in an Air Media and you can wirelessly share it. All good. Uh, right. Do I, are you done? Yeah. Go to the pub. Uh, right. <laughs> Hang on. Whoa. Oh, my word. <laughs> Hello. Hello, CEO of Crestron. You're live on the internet. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Don't swear. Hello, internet. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, well, I think this is unscripted. Uh, Dan, how has ISE been for you? It's been terrific. Great crowds here. A lot of great technology we've been able to show. A few challenging meetings, yeah. but overall, very positive energy, and uh, it's been great. How about for you? Uh, yeah, very good. I get, I, I did, wasn't, I'm flustered now because you're <laughs> I wasn't expecting it. And then now this picture's being taken. So the booth is amazing. We've gone bigger from last year. And again, the theme seems a bit different. We're showing more solutions and the, 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 the solutions and the applications that our products deliver for our customers. Right, absolutely. And, and I think that's the key for our future and for our growth is to be able to show those complete solutions, especially as we're uh, working with our end user partners to help them understand here's what the complete solution looks like. And then we can, through our channel partners, help to deliver and, and execute on that vision. What's in the bag? <laughs> I see your lunch. <laughs> we could, uh, did we catch you on the hop? A gift from uh, one of our Asian partners. Fantastic. Dan, thank you ever so much again. Uh, Dan Feldstein, everyone, uh, CEO of Crestron. Uh, my word, where are we going? Where, where, Yes, modern work. Uh, let's go over here. I don't know what to, uh, complete that was. Um, yes, okay. Uh, modern Work Summit. We did this uh, last year in Orlando, but the Modern Work Summit is uh, an event that Crestron has put together with our, a lot of our partners, but also we've got a lot of industry experts going there. I'm going to probably get in trouble because I'm hoping they sign. So Microsoft's going to be there. Uh, I, I Can I say, is Athens there? Uh, okay, there's lots of other vendors and, and industry people going to be there. Make sure you sign up. You can probably try and scan this code, everybody. Let's see if this, this works. Uh, get your phones out now, point them at your computer screen and scan this QR code. If it doesn't work, go to modernworksummit.com. Yes, Jason is nodding. Modernworksummit.com, sign up. In Madrid, two-day conference, huge amounts of value uh, and insights from not only uh, vendors, but also from industry customers as well, giving you uh, an analyst as well. I think Craig's coming, Craig's, Craig's coming. Craig will be there. Craig does there from Wayne House and others. Uh, but Modern Work Summit, yes, please sign up. And there is an early bird discount. So it's reduced. If you get in, I don't know how long the early bird's lasting for, but if you get in soon, you can hook up with the early bird discount and uh, you can then register for that. Jason's getting his other phone out. Any chats coming through? Anyone want to say hi? Uh, what's the weather like elsewhere? No, no one, no one wants to say anything. Oh, okay. There's a couple of questions. Okay. Are they friendly? We have our team. So, yes, if you have questions, the, the team in New Jersey, the amazing... Okay, there's the amazing SSC team. Um, you guys at SSC are amazing and awesome. Thank you for helping us out here. Um, right. We're going to do... Uh, are you doing it? Oh, they're yeah, going to do it. Okay. We were going to do something funny, but we're not going to do it. Okay, right. Um, okay. <laughs> Kevin, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing great. How are you doing? It's, it's nearly the end of the day. <laughs> yes, uh, half hour left here today. Now, command and control. This is like Starship Enterprise bridge here. This is, you know, the evil lair of the uh, James Bond villain uh, commanding and controlling his system. Talk to us about it. What's going on here? Oh, we're showing a couple new products here. We're showing software MBX that we're really excited about. I like to think about it as an NVX that we shrunk down and put right into this Intel NUC PC. Very exciting, right? So uh, we're actually live streaming this signal right to any NVX decoder right now. So this is the first time we've shown it, and we're really, really excited about this. So is this uh, is this a product? Is this SKU? Can we buy it? What's what's the deal here? Uh, yeah, it will be available. Um, it's going to be a software executable that goes right onto uh, PC. So very cool. So this is a kind of sneak peek of what's coming 
Uh, this is coming later on in uh, I'll hold you in a month, year, quarter. Looking at the uh, let's see, end of February, March time frame is what we're shooting. So very, very soon. Very cool. So command and control um, setups with the software MBX uh, running. Uh, you can build your own Bond villain lair uh, if you want to using this system. Uh, Kevin, thank you ever so much for that. Now we're get, we're going to go there, you know. I, um, okay, we're going. Okay, now. The booth here is split into two sections. ISE is, a, is an amazing environment. Unlike in the America where you have the Cedia show, which is more residential, and you have uh, Infocom, which is more enterprise. I'm going to walk over someone. I'm walking back because Jason's walking towards me. Um, at ISE here, it's all in one show. So for Crestron, we have our residential line. Now, I'm not an expert in residential, but luckily, luckily I found him out there. It's Michael, how are you doing? I'm all right. His voice is gone, so this is going to be pretty tough. <laughs> this is great. I apologize. <clears throat> right. Michael Short, Director of Marketing for uh, for our Residential Line. Now, behind you, Hotel Crestron. Uh, what's all this about? Yeah, well, it's our first time really going full force into the hospitality channel. As most of you guys know, we, we've always done hotels. We've worked in the hotel industry, but we've always been winning the ballrooms, the conference rooms, and we really haven't joined both the resi commercial teams together to understand how far we can push um, the whole hotel solution. So we decided this year, seeing as though the whole commercial area that you guys have just seen, the wellness areas, the juice bars, uh, the conference rooms, and I'll throw in a guest room at the show as well, so we can tell that whole story in one in one go. So we've built a physical hotel room to uh, to show it off. So you want to? It's a nice hotel. It's nicer than my hotel room, actually. Yeah, I think I think we should be staying here tonight. Totally agree. Totally agree. Yeah. So should we go and check it out? Should we go inside? Yeah. Jason's nodding. Right. There's a we could go behind the security bar here, into the hotel room. Wipe your feet, everybody. Okay. Come on. This is fancy carpet in here. Uh, right. We, we've essentially set up a full hotel room here that covers really. The, the most premium level of our hotel suite. So we've filled it full of Crestron products, touchscreens, HR310 remotes, lighting control, shading control, uh, to really show off how far we can push the guest room experience. Uh, we've also partnered with Black Nova, who has some really great range of keypads for hotel rooms. So by the side of the bed, you can see the two Black Nova keypads that control everything from lights, door access, asking for uh, room service, all from those keypads there, as well as on the front door and on the inside of the door, they're Black Nova panels that also trigger the rooms. And it's a real elegant solution because what it allows us to do in this space is take control of not just the room itself, but the guest room management services. So I'll show you quickly on the... It's poor, poor Michael's voice is here. <laughs> I would like to say that's from just being at the show, but... <laughs> Neil, Chris, 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 Chris last night. Chris Fest. Um, so as you can see here, we're integrating with our partner Bodhi, who brings in more um, guest room? Do, I, do you want me to hold it or do you hold it? That bring in a number of guest room services. So, for example, now from within the room, we can request to make up the room direct from the crash on solution. And that then triggers on the inside of the door. You'll see we've just gone green. Oh, yeah. Do the same so they know that we can, you know, the room needs cleaning. So, a ton of different solutions that we're showing off, uh, as well as the back end of Bodhi with Kate over there. Um, so yeah, that's that's the guest rooms. Very cool. Popular. Apparently yesterday we had eight thousand people in this room. Oh my god, that's a lot of people through this this room. I see messed up with the numbers. Okay, but hospitality is a real growth area now. People are wanting to go out. You know, I'm off on holiday in a couple of weeks' time. A lot of people now are going unlocking and wanting to go out and experience these these you know, much better high end premium experience. And it's that touchless experience that people want. No one wants to call for room service. No one wants to call for housekeeping. So now being able to control that literally from within the room, requesting extra towels or all that stuff, it, it's easy. It's that touchless experience that, you know, the hotels we want to be in really need. So it's been great. So the magic happens behind you. Push the button, some magic happens and suddenly your towels arrive at your, at your door. Right now, let's uh, let's kit out my new house um, with all the crest on home. Where do I? What gear do I want in my uh, in my house, here, Michael? Well, you know, we'll start first of all actually talking MDU because it moves nicely through the experience from the hotel room because the back end solution that we're showing off here uh, is Bodhi as well. But this time they're actually managing the property, so the whole units, uh, multiple units, and all the property management services they can offer from calling the valet. Um, organizing restaurants for you, asking for maintenance, electrical issues, again, all using Crestron Home, but connected into the Bodhi platform. But this has been our MDU wall where we've taken the dealers through how easy it is to scale from one unit to 100, 
using Crest Run Home and Bodium Partnership. It's really popular. We did it at CDA this year. So if any of you guys were at CDA, you would have seen a really similar similar demo. But really with Crest Run Home, that ability to scale at speed and then control the property management is beyond a lot of what our competition can do. It's a super slick experience. It's really good, just like we had it at CDA. So uh, yeah, it's really, really cool. But as well as in those units, speakers. Yeah, speakers and audio. So um, this year has been a big year for us for speakers. And again, at CDO, we launched a number of products. But we saved a couple back just for this show itself here. So we've got the brand new A-Sub, which is mounted to the wall here. Uh, really elegant solution. It's shipping now. It's available now um, to order so we can ship. And we're also talking about our... Uh, our three-inch speakers, which we finally managed to put on the, the demo wall. There are in-ceiling speakers that match the uh, same look and feel as our light fixtures. So they go like hand in hand together. Um, so again, speakers this year, super important for us. It's a product range we really want to sell more of. And we can actually cover every room of the house with our speaker selection. And uh, the SSC guys have done some really cool unboxing videos and they've got some great content on high spot around this because we really want to continue to push it. So make sure you go and check that stuff out. And available. I think the speakers are in stock. Again, I ordered some Saros and they've arrived. So um, in stock, available, shipping right now. Uh, there's a theme here, I think, going on. We've been saying in stock and shipping now. There's this kind of mystique. And some products are challenged to uh, to ship at the moment. But there's a lot of products that are available and shipping from us here at Crestron. Yeah, and look, speakers are a huge growth area for us. We're going to continue to bring out another three or four actual products this year just for the speak range. And, uh, and we really, really want to continue to, to grow that category. So we're going to do this again at CDO, and we're going to be talking about a lot more. Again, brand new for the show this year is pairing with the speakers, we've now launched our certified audio profiles. This has gone live in NAX, and this is all about all tunes, no tuning. So basically, every single one of our speakers is now available in NAX to have um, uh, the tuning ability done automatically. You simply go into the back end, which is what it's showing here, pick the speaker and the profile will tweak all the EQ, all of the levels, everything is done in that. Everything is done at, at that point for you. So really elegant solution for the dealers who maybe aren't audio files or experts in tuning just to go in and at speed, just like Crest on Home, you want really configure and, um, and tune those speakers really, really easily. You can also generate your own speaker profile. Okay. Live demo, everyone. Here we go. Live demo via the help chat. Yeah. Um, but this has also gone live a couple of days ago. Um, if you've got dealers who can tune their own speakers and they really are audiophiles, they can save their own speaker profiles so they can Exactly, exactly. And the other thing is, we have some. Oh, I love, ba I, I love our speakers, but Bowers and Wilkins do make some nice speakers. So, <laughs> so these guys are coming soon. Um, lots of partners joining the certified program, and you know, you'll be able to do the exact same process with our speakers with theirs. Where are we going to take the rest of your voice that's left? Oh, yeah. We did actually just announce the NAX Amp X300. You guys will have seen it. We did a piff on it the other day. Um, we've been talking about it a lot on the show. It's available to order. It's shipping. Um, so get on that. Uh, and of course, we brought in the, uh, the Formula 1 race car as well. Yeah, our hostesses don't seem to be doing a lot of work on the stand. They seem to be playing on the Formula 1 simulator. I think Sal's having a good time. <laughs> he loves it. Uh, remote, I love the remote as well. I need to get one of those, please, or five of those, please. This is my shopping list for uh, for Neil's home. This is this is uh, hook me up. <laughs> so um, we won't go too deeply into the shades of fabrics. It's something that we've uh, been speaking about a lot for the past year or so with regards to the battery power chase. So we'll skip that demo. What we're going to do is we're going to show our light fixture demo here, which we've taken on and developed in Cedia. So this area is uh, something that we're going to release to our dealers in the US with regards to how to demo fixtures in their showroom. So we've set this up like a, a dining room area and we've utilized the Crestron fixtures, which are only available in the US. Um, but we have partners available here in, in EMEA, Savage Lighting. And we did them Savage Lighting in the Marine team. Literally just launched uh, two days ago. So we've got a really cool demo here where we're showcasing how layered lighting can be easily curated through Crestron Home and the effect that it can have in the room. So. First of all, I'm going to switch up some static LEDs. These are probably LEDs that most of our clients have in their home. Uh, dimmable white. Um, it's a pretty nice table setting. It's, it's very flat, though. It's white light. And we know with our fixtures, we can tune this into something a little bit more exciting. It's a little more depth to the room. So scene two brings in the tunable fixtures by Crestron. So warmer, we've added some oranges. It's a much nicer scene. 
But because our fixtures are individually addressable, we can do so much more than just light up the table. So we've actually got a single fixture above the flowers in the middle, which we're going to use to highlight what we can do with color tuning. So first of all, I'm putting that light on. You'll see it's a white light. It's nice, but it feels very much like a spotlight. And again, the flowers all feel a little bit flat. Watch what happens when I add a little bit of pink and purple. You really see the purples pop. It's so cool. And for this, it's a really, really important thing. I'm going to go back and forth just twice. Yeah. I don't know how it'll come through on the, the live stream, but hopefully you can see the difference. It's, it's quite uh, telling uh, standing here looking at it. Again, if you haven't seen this, do book up a demo and come and see this for yourself with your own eyes. But it is amazing. And hopefully, uh, if you, tell us in the chat, can you see the difference between the two? And uh, now we're going to add, because it's, you know, all our fixtures are individually addressable, we're going to have the nature wall which has got a little bit of green in there to make all the colors pop. And of course, most of our clients have beautiful art. So we're going to add in the art into the scene as well. And I mean, that picture is just completely changed. It's amazing. It's just a real great way to create the experience within the space. We're also showing circadian in here and solar sync, but many of you guys will know that. I'm now going to switch back to the original and then back to this. We we'll take a look at how different that feels. It's like when you go to the opticians and they say, is it better with one or two, one or two? So this is, this is harsh, horrible, nasty, you know, like fluorescent lighting kind of thing. And then, wow, such a, it's such a nicer environment. Yeah. So we're going to make the studio available to the dealers so they can copy exactly what we're doing. It's like a template, like a template so they can bring their clients through and, and sell it. So that'll be coming soon for you guys to talk about with uh, with your dealers. All right. Where, on the final straight, I think, where are we, where are we going? All right. <laughs> Couple of quick things. Work from home station. Very popular at the moment, working from home. Very popular. We won't talk about it too much because it's the same as what we did at CDS, so we don't need to go over it. But many of you guys will recognize this little remote here. I want one. It is uh, in the US. It's by Ava. In EMEA, it's Revox. Right now, we know we're struggling to ship TSRs, so we're kind of offering a number of different solutions. So this is their handheld controller, not a remote, because, you know, we sell remotes and exactly. it's a controller, but it natively runs the Equestrial Home app. It's Android, hard buttons now work for volume up and down, which was a new feature released um, over the past month. It's a really great way to maybe get your dealers out of a little bit of a sticky situation whilst we... Yeah. If you're waiting on a control, aka a remote, then you can use that, load up Crestron Home on it, and then exactly. you can get, you know, get out exactly. of the gate. And talk about it like it's a room controller, not a remote. It's not going to be great for watching TV, but it will it will tick that box for a period of time until we can get some more TSRs out of the door. All right. Um, and then we'll actually skip this area. We're skipping this area. We've got fabrics, we've got K&X, we've yep. got keypad. Right. Come to probably uh, one of the most important products uh, that we've kind of launched at the show, which is the PC4R. So this is in uh, going to be in stock and shipping at the end of Q1. It's going to be end of Q1. We're looking sort of right at the back end of March. But this is, as you will know, guys, this is our solution to really help you get out of those time-sensitive jobs. Crash on home, uh, the OS loaded on a Dell compute. Um, doesn't have IO, doesn't have IR, so you've got to make sure you consider that when you're talking to your dealers. But by the time we get to the end of March, they're going to be in stock, they're going to be shipping, they're going to be available, and it's going to hopefully help get you out of a few sticky situations because of the processing situation right now. Um, same size as the CP4R in terms of ability to um, size of home and products and, and all that good stuff. So it really is a pretty powerful solution, and it will also work with multi-processor support when you bring in the AP4R or MC4R, it work exactly the same as those when you bring them both into the system. So really, really big news here at the show. Um, we're really looking forward to maybe opening up pre-orders um, February. We're trying to get that sorted now so we can... We're in February. Come on. Oh, God. <laughs> it's been a long few days. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You can hear from his voice. Oh, my God. <laughs> end of February, so that end of March, yeah. we can ship them out of the straight to you so yeah that's pretty much it it's been a big show it's fantastic and uh yeah shame couldn't have everyone over but yeah you know we'll go and have a lem sip or, or sort your voice out i'm gonna go get a beer. <laughs> go and have a beer there you go all right well we'll finish and we'll wrap up here uh, thank you so much anybody in the chat we want to shout out no no one wants to say anything in the chat i'd love to know did you find this useful was this do you want to see more of this i used to do a live stream every monday uh would you like to see more live streams from us here on christmas
be. Uh, do you want this at the next trade show? If you can't make it to Infocom, you can't make it to Cedia, do you want these kind of live streams from the floor? Let us know. We're doing this for you. This isn't for my fun. Uh, this is for you. This is a stream that we're creating for you. Thank you so, so much for the people who have joined. If you're watching this on the replay as well, comment, chat, share it amongst your friends. And again, let us know what you want to see on the next one. Uh, thank you all for joining. Uh, we're all off to go and get a beer now because it's the end of the day. Have an amazing day if you're in North America. Uh, keep an eye on all the chats uh, on LinkedIn, Twitter. Follow us uh, on YouTube and make sure you subscribe to the Crestron YouTube channel for more Great, and I'm going to try not to trip over live on YouTube. Uh, more great updates from us here on Crest TV, uh, and we'll see you uh, very, very soon. Now, you're going to watch me now walk back to my computer and press stop because the computer's actually around there, so I'm going to waffle for the last bit. If anyone's still watching, it's live TV. Um, uh, head of legal, Amberette's there. Uh, who else have we got? You can see this is the outside of the sightline room. Roseanne here, she's amazing. Lo Roseanne, you're live on uh, on YouTube. Um, so that's it. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Uh, I'm going to come and press the button here <laughs> on my computer. And we'll stop the screen. Have a great day, everyone, and thank you. And we are clear.